This is a video about hypothesis tests, alpha, and p. The question states, Tony's Pizzeria's staff can accommodate 65 customers per hour. Tony suspects that his mean customer load differs from 65. He performed a hypothesis test with alpha equals 0.05 and came up with a p-value of 0.18. State the two hypotheses, interpret alpha and p, and state the conclusion. So let's start out with the null hypothesis. We're testing the claim that the mean customer load differs from 65. So since we have a mean, the null hypothesis, H0, is going to be mu is equal to, and then 65, because that's the claim that we're testing, because it's different from 65. Now for the alternative hypothesis, the keyword here is differs from. So when you see differs, the inequality is not equal to. So our alternative hypothesis is that mu is not equal to 65. Now let's understand our alpha. Our level of significance is 0 0.05, and that is a probability of a type 1 error, or that is the probability that if H0 is true, then we're going to end up rejecting H0 and accepting HA. So what that means in terms of Tony is if the mean number of customers is 65, that's H0, then there is a 5% chance, 0 0.05, that Tony will conclude that the mean number of customers per hour is not 65. So now let's talk about the p-value. So the p-value is the probability of getting a, as rare an event as we got in our survey or rarer. So in particular, we always say that if H0 is true, how likely it is that we get such a rare event. So we can say, if the mean number of customers per hour is 65, that's H0, and if we sample the same number of hours repeatedly, we're going to take many samples of the same size, then 18%, that's our p-value, of the samples will result in a sample mean farther from 65 than the sample mean that Tony obtained. So Tony obtained some sample mean, I don't know, it might have been 69, and we want to see what's the probability that we would get something bigger than 69, or on the other side of the tail, less than 61, because that would be four away on either side. And that would be our p-value. So now let's state our conclusion. So our conclusion is, well, we have p is equal to 0.18, and that's certainly bigger than 0 0.05, which is alpha. And when p is bigger than alpha, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. And we say that Tony has inconclusive evidence, and he cannot state that the mean number of customers per hour differs from 65. He pretty much can't say anything except maybe try a larger sample size and he might have better luck with a larger sample size. And we're done with the problem.